should be. Constant challenge with COVID and construction. 
And also, I'd like to give our former director of communications and development, Emily Hacker, a shout out all of her amazing work on this project. So, as I'm sure you're all aware, we have the best families in the world. Our parents were immensely supportive of WSD as we went in and out of remote learning, changed our building entry, traffic patterns, and delayed the opening of the school. Our PTO, led by Laura Lee and her team, provided delicious staff appreciation meals and jumps at the drop of a hat to come in and help, up, help us set up classrooms when we needed extra hands. And our students, well, they're just amazing, adaptable, and are already making this place their home. Thank you to our families. Our staff worked with unprecedented, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say. that we've got sick of hearing, but there are no other replacements. Our staff worked with unprecedented flexibility to take care of students and each other throughout and kept their eyes on the prize, knowing that we were working for this, this fabulous outcome that you're in today. Now, they will get to work with leadership and students to leverage these new spaces, continue creating rigorous and engaging learning that our students deserve. A special thank you to all the staff who volunteered their time end of this, the original Capital Project Planning Committee that worked with David Ham and Truex Cullen to build guiding principles to the design of this project. I'd also like to thank the City of Williams City Leadership, City Council, and our state reps, Taylor and Al, for their partnership throughout, and especially Jesse Baker for being my leadership partner, and John Rauscher for coordinating city projects with us. We couldn't have done it without them. So the Winooski community supported a $57.8 million bond, and there are many other contributors to making this project an architectural, construction, and financial success. For instance, we are so fortunate in Vermont to have an equity-focused and passionate congressional delegation who make themselves and their staff accessible to Vermonters. Recently retired Senator Patrick Leahy, current Senator Bernie Sanders, and Peter Welch, and Representative Becca Ballant have all contributed to supporting federal actions and bringing resources for the total of over $5 million to this project via effort and support. And a shout to their staffs who do a lot of work along the way in supporting uh, the senators and representatives and working directly with us. Thank you. Also at the federal level, we have great partners in the USDA who are financing our long-term milk at an incredible interest rate of no more than two and a quarter percent. Specifically, I'd like to say, yeah. You couldn't get anything under five and a half, And this is I'd like to thank Eric Law, Community Program Director for Vermont, New Hampshire, who was really a partner of mine throughout this. He was incredibly responsive, calm, and showed amazing vision throughout. One of the many qualities that makes Vermont special is that our care and support for each other crosses town, city, and county boundaries. Bruce Liston, Kyla Sternley, the Vermont Community Foundation, and the Vermont Food Bank contributed over a quarter of a million dollars collectively to support elements of the project like the necessity store over here, the performing arts center, playgrounds, and future mural projects. Thank you. <laughs> the three primary teams on the project are the architects, construction, and the order team. You'll hear more later, but I'd like to extend WSD's, WSD's heartfelt thanks to the two apps on the team. David, Cam, Stephen, Tracy, Jody, and others who led us from visioning to drawings to a beautiful finished product. And, and the re art team John, Bert, Ben, Mike, Jimmy, Cody, Danilo, Mike, and Zach, and many, many others. 
who've worked endlessly to dance, to fight with COVID, labor challenges, supply chain delays, and the general challenge of building a school while the school is in session. You guys did a great job. Incredible teams and their 
work together, which were just not in just their teams, but they crossed and threaded in so many different ways. Driven by a tremendous sense of equity to the deserving Onion City community is, we borrowed about $55 million, which is nearly three million less than voters approved. At a one and a half percent, stay with me on the back, at one and a half percent lower interest rate than model, saving new taxpayers around $16 million compared to the original model. And this project is estimated at a cost of over $120 million, not including interest on borrowed money if it was started today. And most importantly, we now have a safe, healthy, modern, and beautiful learning environment that our students, staff, and community deserve. And I know will honor it with their persistence and creativity. And I look forward to seeing the many future accomplishments that they will have in this beautiful space. Thank you. Dental care 
It will mean that parents do not have to take off time from work in order to transport their kids to a dentist because the dentist will be here. So let me just uh, conclude by uh, once again congratulating Sean, his entire team, and the entire city of Houston for the enormous, enormous accomplishment uh, that they have worked about. Thank you all very much.
that has too much division and too little cooperation. And Winooski, Winooski can strong. Thank you. Development. 
awarded the Mimosi School District a $57.8 million loan through our community facility partner. It is the largest investment our agency has made ever in this model.
wow, what a great event, all these words. Um, I usually get nervous about speaking, but I went a little today given who came before me, so I actually had a chat to see where I am. So it sounds a little generic, you know, maybe that's what it's it, it's an honor to be here and to speak on behalf of Truex Cone, the architecture of the project. Um, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child, well, it takes a village to build a school. And um, in this case, it was a cat of hundreds uh, who helped plan, fund, and build this project. School leadership, the board, teachers, staff, students, the USDA, our congressional delegation, Owners rep Tom Barton, Rear Company, and our team at True X Homes. I want to make sure to personally thank our team of Ken Featherstonhoff, Stephanie Poston, Jody Weitzer, Kayla Bernard, and Tracy Denver, and, and there were many others, but those um, I particularly want to thank. This project wouldn't have happened without them. It's really been a labor of love, this project. Um, you know, real labor, <laughs> but real love, too. Um, and I want to do a special thank to Sean and Because uh, this project just would not have happened without his leadership. So I think we all... <laughs> that build strong communities, um, that create a new better sense of self. And to do this requires a partnership with an owner with vision and who places their sacred trust in us to bring that vision to life. And we, I can't express how grateful we are to have had this opportunity. I was also have to speak a little bit about the vision for this project. Um, you know, as Sean mentioned, early in the process, we had a, a visioning uh, workshop, and we developed what we call guiding principles for the process. And they not only guided the design development, but they also really helped us navigate some uh, tough decisions about value and cost. I'm just going to go through this. I think it'll help you see the project. We're looking around as you think about these. Uh, the guiding principles state that the school should support the need of whole child development, social, emotional, academic, and physical, physical well-being. That the school design should support a student-centered approach that promotes confidence and tranquility. That the design should support wellness through access to fresh air and natural light. That the design should support the school's team-based approach to learning and have spaces that celebrate student life and learning. The school should have a welcoming environment that promotes community integration and access to services and collaboration between students, staff, and community members. Yeah. And I hope, and I think, as you look around on building, you'll see features that express these ideals everywhere you go. Finally, we want to congratulate the Woodhouse community on their new school and hope, hope it serves them well for the years to come. <coughs> it's been an honor to help bring your vision to life. Thank you. Investment in the 
future of the community with a geothermal heating system and with the largest rooftop solar array in any Vermont school. This district's commitment to sustainability is a remarkable step forward and will serve as a model to follow uh, as we as our state continues to operate in schools. architects, engineers, all the talented construction workers, highly talented construction workers, uh, and community members who have supported the project and recognized its importance. Uh, in closing, we congratulate everyone involved in the successful completion of this project. At Rear Company, we are grateful to have contributed to such a successful and transformative project. and look forward to the many benefits this project will bring to the community for years to come. Thank you. 
stronger. But it's in those differences that make our community stronger because we also want that function to function. This will be a place where everybody in the community can share the joys and disappointments of sporting events, a laugh and cry at future performing arts events, or just be in awe of our students' past home presentation as they demonstrate their proficiencies in their graduate expectations. Was it worth it? My answer is a resounding yes. I can see in the, in the eyes of our children hope, confidence, and love because we believe in them. We invested in education because we want them to be part of our community and more importantly, our democracy. And in return, I believe in many of them want to stay in our community as plumbers, electricians, architects, entrepreneurs, engineers, doctors, judges, chefs, teachers, social workers, senators, congresswomen, and even school boards. <laughs> and one of my pleasures in life is seeing that these students fall in love with the community in the water so that we can build our own build our own education. So let us stand together and realize that each of us has a responsibility in being caretakers and builders of a vibrant democracy. Because it is only through education that we rely and build government that is for the people, of the people, yes. by the people. Yes. Let's be two social and leadership that embraces the beauties of diversity and inclusion by learning that these values are built, by learning that it's by leading into the Die. This gives us the ability to be the small of life in Vermonters to truly understand what it means to have freedom and unity. To my fellow New York City residents, let's stand with pride because we now represent the present and future that Vermont needs and more.